All right, well, on this video, we're going to cover uh, hexadecimal conversion. So uh, we use hex a lot in, uh, in networking for, like, again, MAC addresses and IPv6 uh, addresses. So hexadecimal is getting more and more important. And being able to convert a hexadecimal number to binary or decimal, not a lot of conversion to decimal, mostly to binary, but it's important to know how to do both. Um, it's not really that hard. Uh, it's just maybe uh, I have to use a calculator still because some of the numbers do get big pretty quickly. So, you know, I'm not one of those people that can do math in my head very well. But um, so just knowing this concept and being able to do this skill is important. Um, a second, it may, really important for to be able to count in hex and understand why one hex number is bigger than another hex number or one MAC address number is bigger than another MAC address number. Uh, it'll really help you out when you get to expanding through protocols and things like that that use hex a lot. So uh, here we go, hexadecimal number conversion. All right, so um, here we go. So converting uh, hex numbers to decimal um, is really not a big deal. Um, just like we talked about on the other videos, the binary, converting binary to decimal. I mentioned decimal and I mentioned uh, binary, how they have place settings. Uh, the place settings for hexadecimal are uh, similar. A couple things about the numbering system itself. Um, hexadecimal has 16 symbols, right? 16 symbols from 0 to F, right? And if I were to convert the last um, symbols, A, B, C, and D, right? So A would uh, follow along with the, 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 the series, right? The A would be um, 10, uh, B would be 11, uh, C would be 12, um, D would be 13, um, E would be 14, and F would be 15. So that would be converting those um, symbols to decimal. So if you would think about the symbol A, the symbols, th that symbol and this symbol, right? So all these different ways of writing out the same quantity, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What I've done is written 10 circles on the screen here. And if I'm going to express this quantity right here in hexadecimal, I can say A, right? If I want to express this quantity with decimal, so that'd be hex, right? Hex. This is decimal. We say the word 10, right? The number 10. And then... I'm sorry, this is wrong for binary, it'd be 1010. Zero, one, zero. And that would be the expression for, uh, for binary, right? So this would be the 8th place, the 4th place, the 2 and the 1. 8 plus 2 is decimal 10. So this was the way we would express this quantity in binary, right? So again, what all this is is different, different numbering systems to, to, um, to express quantities. And, um, and that's the way we would express those 10 circles. We could either use an A, we could use a the number 10 in decimal, or um, or we could say 1010 zero, zero in binary, and they would all be expressing the same quantity. So here we go, talking about hex. So the place settings are always going to be very similar, right? Uh, 16 to the 0, right? So your your base is 16, it's a base 16 numbering system. 16 to the 1, 16 to the 2, 16 to the 3, and I'm going to stop there. Of course, it keeps going on and on infinitely, right? So it's an infinite numbering system like all other numbering systems, right? And so on the screen, what I have is those place settings on the screen right now. So I have uh, the ones place, which would be 16 to the 0, 16 to the 1, 16 to the 2, and then 16 to the 3, right? And those place settings, uh, of course, keep on going. And um, so now what it is, is whatever symbol you write here, right, down here, they would be times that play setting, right? So, so let's get started. So let's say I start counting on the right side. So I'll count one. Well, we always start with zero, right? So it would be zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? There's, and there would be A, and I ran out of room, so it could be a race. So that's not an A, that's a four. Hello, Johnny. That would be A, right? So let me continue on the top. Right, and it would be so. I'm going to start with A again. A, B, C, D, E, and F. Right. So again, if we were to convert these to decimal, so I'll put the decimal on this side. So the first oh, zero through nine are e equal to decimal. Right. They're the exact same quantities as in decimal. And then this would be right ten in decimal. Eleven. Uh, what is this? A? It's a C, right? So that's eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then fifteen. Right. So, so 
So again, I mentioned earlier that F is decimal 15, or in binary, F would be 1, 1, 1, 1, right? Which is the same thing. 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is, is uh, 15, or F in hex, or 15 in decimal, right? So now that we got to F, right, we ran out of symbols, so we add, we add one more number to this F, right? We jump to the next place setting, and that is the 16th place, right? We're going to erase all this real quick, make some room. And so the next number would be, ready? Next number would be, would be 1, 0. And that would be 16 in decimal. Remember, this is the decimal equivalent down here on the, on the right side. And then 1, 1 in hex would be 17, right? A 16 plus a 1, right? Um, and then the next one would be 1, 2, right? So 16 plus 2 is, right, 18. And then 1, 1, 3 would be six, one, 16 plus 3, so 19. You see how this is working? So you take whatever is here in this, in this area, and you just times it by the place setting. Whatever is here times the place setting. So let's look at some numbers that are a little bit bigger than the ones that we're using now. And uh, so I'm just going to put, um, let's just go ahead and continue with this one so we can, we can go all the way to the top. So if I get to 1F, right? So this would be 16, right? 1 times 16, 16. So 1 times F would be equivalent to, um, would be equivalent to uh, 15 in decimal, right? So it would be 15 plus 16, and that would be 31, right? So, so if we were to do 1F, right? 1F is 31 because F is equivalent to 15 in decimal. So if we at 1F and that's 31, since we ran out of symbols right here, right? If I had one more to this, this becomes a zero and now it goes to two, right? So we jump over to the next place setting, right? So again, we got to the end of that number system on this side. F is the last symbol, right? So we had one more, we go to two. So now it's two times 16 is, right? So now this is what, 32, right? 16 times two is 32 and no ones, right? Two times 16 is 32, no ones. So two one, let me write that again because that looks like a terrible two. Two one would be 33, right? 16 times 2 is 32 plus 1. 2, 2 would be 34, right? 16, 32, 33, 34. So this is how that's working out. So all we're doing is we're timesing, we're timesing whatever's on under here, times the place setting, and then adding those two together, like we've done in all the other videos, right? So let's do one that's a little harder. Let's go with 4C, right? 4C. So uh, I've got my handy dandy calculator because I'm not that smart. So 16 times 4 is 64. And then C, right? C was 10, 11, 12, right? So 64 plus 12 is 76. So you see how that's working here? So I take whatever number is here times the place setting, whatever number is here times the place setting, which happens to be 1. And then I add those two numbers together to get the decimal equivalent, right? So that's how we're converting these hex numbers to decimal, right? So um, very, pretty straightforward. We've been doing it with binary before. So let's try another one. Let's use the number um, 7, and then we'll do B, right? So this is 7B, right? This is a valid hex number, 7B, right? But I want to convert it to decimal. So how, how do I do that? I take 7 times the place setting, so 16 times 7, right? That equals 112. And then I take 1 times B, right? So B is 11, right? So I add 112 plus 11, and I get 123. So see how that works? Uh, let's do one more. And um, and again, it's just a matter of place setting. So we can get some pretty big, pretty big numbers up here, right? Right? Let's say I do this. Let's go crazy. One, two, let's make it kind of easy. Four, and then let's do um, let's do uh, five. I just picked it out of my head. So it would be this would be hex one, two, four, five, right? We want to convert it to decimal, right? So this is easy. That's four thousand ninety-six, right? Plus, right, so now we gotta do two fifty-six times 2 equals 512. I could have done that with my head. I don't know why I used my calculator. Plus, right, so plus that. So now we've got 16. Um, 16 times 4 is 64. And then, of course, 1 times 5 is 5. So now all I have to do is add all these together, right? So 
4096 plus 512 plus 64 plus 5 equals 4,677 in decimal. Okay, so um, so that's how you would um, figure out this number. So this is again this was a this was a hex number, and this is a decimal equivalent. Okay, so that's how we convert hex to to binary, right? So very straightforward. So let's look at the next uh, slide deck, and we will. Uh, let's look at the slide. So here we go. We've had some, uh, some more examples. So let's do a couple of these real quick together. Um, we'll just do a couple of them real quick. So 4 times 16 again. So 16 times 4 equals 64, which we did, did that one a few minutes ago. Plus CC is, again, 12. ABC, that's 12 in, in, um, in, in decimal. So 64 plus 12 equals 76. I think we did that one earlier, right? And let's see if there's another one real quick. I think there's a couple more I have listed here. Okay, so that's right. And then the next one is going to be a little harder. Not that much harder, right? 256 times 2, right, is 512 again. I keep on, why do I keep on doing that with a calculator? Because I know what that is. 512, 7 times 16, right? So 7 times 16 equals 100. 12, and then B is, um, again, 11. Sorry, I should have put all the equals there. It should be a plus. So all I got to do now is 512 plus 112 plus 11 is 635. Right? Well, and if I hit the space where it gives me the answer. That's it. So that's converting um, those hex numbers to um, to um, to um, to decimal, so hex to decimal. So I got a couple more. I'm gonna hit them for you. If you want to do them real quick, um, and I'll give you a few seconds to do them. So if you want to pause the video, go ahead and pause the video and do the next one. So here's another one. So take a few seconds, figure this out. Pause the video for a second and see if you can get the answer. Okay. So make sure you pause it. And here we go. Here's the answer. Here's another one. Right. Now, this one's kind of interesting, right? Real quick, um, go ahead and do it, and I'll pa I'm going to pa pause the video, do it, and then I'm going to talk about it some more here. So, um, this one, right, FFF, if I add one more, it should be the next place in it. So, we know that FFF must be one less than this, right? So, let's see if I'm right. I know I'm right, so that's right. So, I'm one less than 4,096. So, whenever you see a lot of consecutive Fs, just know that it's always going to be one less than the next place in it. Okay, so... Um, this is uh, another piece of the video real quick. We'll do this quickly. Uh, I know I don't want to take too long in this video because these can become boring. So um, so now I'm converting des uh, hex numbers to binary. And this is a very simple process. So what we want to do is we want to separate the numbers in half. That's a terrible half, right? So we're going to separate these in half. And I want to convert the first number to, number to binary and then the next the other number to binary. So this is the system how you convert hex to binary. So what is D in binary, right? So D in binary is A, B, C, D, right? So it'd be 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 would be 8, all right, um, plus 4, which is, that's 12, and then 1. So that's 13, right? 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 more is 13. And then 8 in it would be 1, 0, 0, 0. And that's all it takes to convert a to hexadecimal number, hex number to binary. So always start on the left, and always include all four bits. Uh, and so um, that's important to include all four bits to each number. And then you can just erase the, the leading zeros after you've completed it. So let's go ahead and do 99 real quick. Let's do 99. So again, let's convert 9. So 9 is 1, 0, 0, 1, right? That's 8, 4, you know, 8 plus 1 is 9. And then another 9, 1, 0, 0, 1. We have just converted hex 99 to binary. Isn't that easy? Just make sure you always start on the left, right? So let's do C, right? C is A, B, C, 10, 11, 12. So 12, in, so it's going to be an 8 plus a 4. That's 12, 0, 0. That's C. That would be converting C to binary. And then 7 in, 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 in binary would be 0, 1, 1, 1. So we just converted C7 to hex. So you see in the pattern here, always start on the left and go the full four bits, okay? So here's F, right? 1, 1, 1, 1. 
E is 1110. How easy was that, right? And uh, so let's convert this other one. So we're getting even bigger. So we're going to do this one. 1111 would be F. 1110 is E. 1000 is 8. And then the rest is all zeros. I just converted F E 80. So look at that. That's kind of important because notice how many symbols did it take to convert this binary number, right? So that's why we like hex so much. We can represent really large binary numbers with a very few hex characters. So this was what? That was like 16 hex char binary characters, only four hex characters, right? So that's cool. Let's do the next one, right? So this one's kind of important. So let's do the 200A. So here we go. 2 would be 0, 0, 1, 0, then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then A is 10, which would be 1, 0, 1, 0. So do I really need the leading zeros, right? I do I need these leading zeros? Well, not really, right? Um, 2, 0, 0, A can be expressed with 1, 0, 0, all of this here, but the reason why I'm going to keep these zeros here is because, again, this is 16 bits, right, which would be two bytes, right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so this is 8 bits, and this is 8 bits, and remember, we like to do things in bits and bytes with computers, so I'm going to leave that alone, I'm going to leave those leading zeros there, because a lot of times, we want to leave them for subnetting and for other, other things, right, so um, let's do these last two, and we'll be done with this video, so B would be um, let's see, B is again, that's 11, so that'd be 1, 1, 0, 1. 4 would be 0, 1, 0, 0. Another B, 1, 1, 0, 1. And another 4, 0, 1, 0, 0. And then the last one, face, that looks fun. 1, 1, 1, 1. A is 10, 1, 0, 1, 0. C would be uh, uh, a 12, right? A, B, C, 10, 10, 11, 12. So 1, 0, 1, 0. And then the last one would be E, which is going to be um, 14, 1, 1, 1, 0. So that is converting FACE to, uh, to binary. So that's how we convert uh, hex numbers to binary. Pretty straightforward. Always start on the left and always include all four bits uh, in every uh, transmit, uh, translation. Okay, so that's how we convert hex to decimal and hex to binary. Hope you enjoyed the video.